Let's Bet. I'm your host, Scott Pritchard. Let's Bet is about sports betting, sides, totals, money lines. I've been betting sports professionally full-time in Las Vegas for 30 years. I'm going to show you how I do it. Welcome back to Let's Bet Live every Friday morning, 11 o'clock. I can't do this show without my co-host, who's off to a great start in pro football, preseason football. He's been perfect. He's 1-0. and I've been perfect. I'm 0-1. Jacob Cannon, how do you do it? Uh, well, you know, I believe Grace Slick said it a long time ago. No, my, my bad. It was Grace King, the, the black bar head lady. She said, I'm not perfect, but I'm perfect for you. So I'm just right here trying to do my best on less bets. So let's just make it a great show, baby. Keep up the good work. I do have to address that jacket if we could get back there. Scott well, Whitney you, is the you, executive producer. You know, what is that? It kind of reminds me of the fat guy in a little <laughs> <coat>. <laughs> Well, you know, you know what it is. Last week you said uh, you're afraid that I'm only going to wear it for another 51 weeks. Well, baby, this is only week number 50, and that's why I am still wearing this coat. The concern I have is the same concern your wife Sally has because she's told me that you wear it every day. No, 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 because on Monday it goes to the cleaners, and then Tuesday it comes back to the studio. usually hangs here at the Vegas Video Network studios on the back wall so I can look at it every day and go, yep, I'm a winner. <laughs> And lately, Jacob Cannon has been taking the sports books to the cleaners. We'll be checking back with Jacob a little bit later on in the show. To reach out to us, a couple of things you can do. Email us at letsbet at vegasvideonetwork.com. That's letsbet at vegasvideonetwork.com. Also, we have a listener line, toll-free, 866-966-4599. That's 866-966-4599. You might be wondering, why do I have paper the first 27 shows? <laughs> I've not referred to any notes, but Scott Whitney, executive producer, has mentioned it's fine to use notes as long as you don't commit too much to them. So let me please try and understand what he's talking about. Please help me. Let's <laughs> that is our executive producer, Scott Whitney, a very good friend. I hope it stays that way. <laughs> So let's go ahead and get started. Preseason football, we're right in the middle of preseason football right now. This weekend, we have a big game we're going to get to. I'll tease you a little bit. It's the Chargers at Dallas on Sunday night. But let's recap what took place one week ago. The St. Louis Rams were favored by seven at home against the Indianapolis Colts without Peyton Manning. My good friend Jacob Cannon liked the favorite. Minus the seven. See the cashier. Easy winner, 33-10. I like the total. I liked under 34 and a half. It fell 43, 33, 10, the final score. Now, we did talk a week ago about the Kansas City Chiefs, the fact that they were 2 and 15 ATS against the spread in preseason football. Last week, they were getting three points at home against Tampa Bay. 25 zip, the Bucks knocked off the Chiefs. That means Kansas City 2 and 16 ATS preseason football, their last 18 games. And it also means 0 and 11. ATS. So something you need to keep in mind before you step up to the bet window this weekend. A couple of other trends in preseason football this weekend you need to be concerned about. The Carolina Panthers have been a dead under team in their last seven games. The Cleveland Browns over their last seven contests. Let's hone in Sunday night. Chargers in Dallas taking on the Cowboys. Dallas favored by one. The total on this game is 37 and a half. Jacob, who do you like? Uh, I'll say this uh, for the record. I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan personally. However, and yeah, I said it. I don't care. Um, Dallas Cowboys backfield still banged up. Felix Jones is the only running back. Tashar Choice is going to be out. We're going to be looking at third or fourth string running back. He's not going to play the whole game. And you got the return of Antonio Gates for Mr. Phillip Rivers. So I hate to say it, but I'm taking the Chargers on the road plus the point. You hate to say it. Jacob, in that golf jacket that you have, do like your friend Tiger Woods would say. He's always said, commit to the swing. Ooh, commit this is, to your opinion. Come this on. is true, but Tiger does a different kind of swinging than I do. <laughs> well said. So to recap Jacob's play, he likes the small dog San Diego Chargers on the road plus one in Dallas. And keep in mind, that's interesting because in preseason football, one, may, one, one and a half, two may come into play because if it's 17-10 late in the preseason game and the team that's behind scores, it goes overtime. 17-17, it's going to be decided by three in a regular season game. But in preseason, 
the team will just get the team back on the bus or on the plane and they'll go for two. So oftentimes a preseason game, if it's close late, it will be determined, will be decided by one point. So that one point could help, it could force a tie, but let's hope the Chargers win straight up so my friend Jacob can continue to eat. <laughs> let, before we get to my play, let's talk about the San Diego Chargers. Now Jacob touched on the fact, fact that Antonio Gates is playing, star, stud, receiver, missed 11 games last year. Phillip Rivers, 4,800 yards passing last year. The Chargers, number one in offense, defensively, 32 teams, number one statistically speaking. But questionable coaching, yeah, that's right, I'm calling Norv Turner out, I'm not the only one. Talk to anyone in San Diego. Talk to anyone in Washington where he had talent with the Redskins, same thing, underachieved everywhere he goes. But in spite of that, Chargers are going to have a very good season. A team that didn't make the playoffs a year ago, that was then, this is now. Let's talk preseason football. Chargers taking on the Cowboys. The Chargers, it says right here, Scott Whitney, in my notes, <laughs> five of their last seven games in the preseason have gone over. You know, I need to either type this up. See, that's why I don't do notes. I can't read my own writing. I should have been a doctor. <laughs> Now why is Jacob on the camera? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, this is going to be a great show. <laughs> All right, great. Well, the San Diego Chargers are in Dallas. Let's talk now about the Cowboys. I've said enough about Norm Turner <laughs> and the Chargers. The only thing I'll say in wrapping it up with the Chargers, we can keep that Dallas star up for the time being. The Chargers, their first preseason game, 0-1-1, 0-1-1 against the spread. They started out well when their starters were in the game. 10-zip, they led at halftime against Seattle, but then they lost 24-17 because their scrubs were weaker than Seattle's scrubs. Now the Cowboys, it's tough to tell the difference between their starters and their scrubs. <laughs> they did win a game somehow, some way last week, a very tight, close game. I don't know how because Jacob, you alluded it to it uh, earlier and I'm surprised, hey, you've done some homework this week, very impressed, throwing out some statistics, some numbers, and even some players' names and you pronounce them correctly. That's right, now is John Kittner still the backup for Tony Romo or is he uh, 150 yet and collecting social security somewhere in Aruba? <laughs> That's a good question. I was, actually, one of my cronies told me that it's going to be Tony Romo, John Kitna. I'm thinking, John Kitna, what next? Roger Staubach? <laughs> Kitna's still in the league? The guy has to be 110. Yeah, he is, and I think they should bring back Tom Landry if he's not dead. <laughs> so you have, we have Tony Romo for the Cowboys, and we have the backup John Kitna, and then some stiff named Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean d to disrespect any Steves out there who don't play football, but the Cowboys, statistically speaking, in the preseason, they are 2-5 and five ATS against the spread coming off a win that would lend itself to playing the Cowboys, but my friend Jacob, and I use that term my friend loosely, he likes the Chargers plus the one. My play, I like under 37 and a half based on the fact that, Jacob, you're right, I, the Cowboys run Rushing the ball last year, struggled preseason first game. They had some trouble. So I don't think that the Cowboys will run very effectively against the Chargers. Defense is ahead of the game in preseason as opposed to the offense. So I think the, I think 37 and a half, 37 being a key, key number in pro football as far as totals, I think there's some value in betting under 37 and a half. So Jacob is on San Diego plus the one in Dallas. I like under 37 and a half. Before we get to Let's Bet answers your questions, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Hey, I'm Al Man. <laughs> <laughs> is that how you get them to do that all the time? <laughs> Just sit there and be an ass. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> hey, I'm Al. <laughs> hey, I'm Al Mancini at Top of the Food Chain. You are watching the Vegas Video Network. We got big forks, big spoons. I got a big mouth. I got no guests. Welcome back to Let's Bet. I'm your host, Scott Pritchard. Great to have you with us alongside executive producer Scott Whitney, my co-host Jacob Cannon. It's time now for Let's Bet Answers Your Questions. This is where we get questions, comments off the listener line, 866-966-4599, or the email, letsbet at vegasvideonetwork.com. Jacob, what do we have? We got, uh, I got the director over here giving me some type of lighter sign, so I think we did things. We got to wrap it up and only do one quick question here. Uh, uh, this one's from David in Charlottesville, Virginia. He wants to know, who's a sleeper team to make money in the AFC or the NFC? I kind of like, I hesitate to say it because my circle of influence, my circle of friends, other professional sports bettors, we, we have a, a sleeper team. I don't want to say comatose team, but a sleeper team 
that they're on the upswing. And I say this because they've been down in the toilet for so long, there's only one way to go up. I'm talking about the Detroit Lions. Now, granted, they're in a very difficult division, but as far as you might consider playing this team early, a lot of wise guys seem to think, and me included, they started to do it last year. Now, the, the Lions have been horrific for so many years. They're not a team to be taken seriously. Bad teams lose, good teams win. But last year, remember, the Lions started out 7-1 and one ATS against the spread. A very average pedestrian team like the St. Louis Rams, they started out 6-2 and two against the spread. So I respect the question because, again, oftentimes, obviously, in sports betting, you have to see it before it happens. But it takes courage to step up to the bet window. 2,200 to win 2,000 on the Detroit Lions, please. But again, you would have been okay last year. And I think ride that streak, ride that wave if you can get past. Just don't have your wife around or your friends around when you, when you say, hey, I have the Lions tonight. That's going to wrap up this edition of Let's Bet. We're live every Friday morning at 11 o'clock, Las Vegas time. Catch, catch us every Friday night from 6 to 10, Las Vegas time. All the shows on Vegas Video Network. Rebroadcast on KSHP Radio AM 1400 for my friend Jacob Ken. Jacob, do you have any? I didn't mean to shut you out. <laughs> do you have any final comments? <laughs> Two quick final comments. One on a personal note, we still miss you, Leroy. Uh, on a second note, thanks for everybody joining the Facebook page on Vegas Video Network on Facebook. We got Joe the Parrot. We got Amber, Kimberly, everybody else on the Facebook page. We love you. Keep up the great work. We'll be checking back next Friday morning, 11 o'clock. For Jacob Cannon, I'm Scott Pritchard. Two things. Remember, reach out to us, let's bet at VegasVideoNetwork.com. That's our email address. And the toll-free listener line, 866-966-4599. That's going to wrap it up. For Jacob Cannon, Scott Whitney, I'm Scott Pritchard. Good luck and goodbye.